Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I want to share with you today some ideas for adhering paper onto paper without using wet gels or mediums. Because a lot of times you'll get buckling or your paper will kind of warp or different things can happen. So when I want to make sure I have a flat surface, I'm going to use a double-sided adhesive. And one of those that I like, um, this is one that Graphics makes. It's called Double Tack. I've bought them from 3M, from different companies. But what it is, let me just get it out of this package. It's a film, and it's put between, mm, there we go. It's kind of encased, so this is pretty thick, but the film itself is between these two, I guess you would call them protective sheets. Now this is the hardest darn thing is to get it apart. So let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Okay. Well, I say okay. Now, when I peel this apart, this side is uh, shiny, it's not sticking. I can, this is the tacky side. So here's how you do this. I'm gonna start out, with, this is just a laser print from my printer. And this paper is a gessoed mixed media paper. It's pretty heavy duty. But I'm just gonna put this here. You see it's not perfectly square, but that's okay. Then I put the protective paper back onto it. You're going to need to have a tool to really press down on this. I've used this in my uh, etching press, but we're going to try it by hand. And this is a tool I got at the auto supply store. It's a Bondo tool. You could probably find something similar in the cooking department, or you can just use a, a wooden um, craft stick. And I'm really pressing down hard working this. And I'm going to peel this up. And I just cut this out. And you notice that it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about this. Now I'm going to use this same, actually, I'm going to put it on top of this so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to flip it over like this and really make sure that it is adhering on the back side. Make sure you work your edges too. And now I'm going to take this and see if I can get this going here. I'm trying to peel off this back paper. Here we go. All right, so the hardest part is getting the backing paper off. I struggled for a moment with it, but now I'm peeling this off and I can adhere it. Oops, now I'm going to trim it down. It's very sticky. I guess I could have been a little more careful on the cutting it to size, but I want to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to, you can see how sticky it is. So now I'm going to put it down here, take the same tool, and begin to press it down. Now this is still sticky over here. I could actually 
glue something onto that, but I want to just show you a couple of ideas. Now, this is a transparency. I could use the same paper. Let me just cut out a little strip of this. I get all my sticky stuff off of here. But you see, it's not wet. It's not buckling. It's not doing any of that. I'm going to trim this down here. You can tell I don't like perfectly uh, straight edges. If you like that, then use your ruler and it's the same kind of, oops, same thing here of putting let's see if this is long enough. Sticking out a little bit. The sticky side is over here, so let me just do this again. And on this piece, because it's uh, transparent, it really doesn't matter which side you put on there. I'm going to just flip this over, burnish it on this side. And now I'm going to just peel it. Nope, i got to get that edge again. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Very sticky stuff. So now I'm going to peel that backing paper off, bring this back over here, and you can see that it's just looking at that edge. I can see that edge, so I want to trim this down. And here is the sticky part is coming off over here. So I'll just trim that down. And it sticks to you. <laughs> well, hey, that kind of gives me an idea. Maybe this piece will go over here. And maybe this piece will go down here. And because it's transparent, when I burnish this down, I can see the imagery behind there. So this is a great way to put together paper, even transparencies, onto paper without using a wet medium. Now there's something else I wanted to show you. This one is the same company. It's called Artist Tack, and it's a little different. I find this is very handy for small pieces, and I don't have to worry about cutting the edges to size. The reason I wanted to use the double tack on this transparent one is because it's very clear. And you're going to see on this one, there's little dots in between. OK, here we go. Hard part. There we go. So I could have used this one on. No, can you really get in and see those little dots in there? So they're like little dots of glue. I could have used this on this paper. A heavier paper, if you have like a printmaking paper or a thicker paper, then you want to use the double tack. If you have a thin paper, you can use this, as long as it's not transparent. So here's a little piece. Let me show you the beauty of this. I just kind of pop it on there like I did on the first one. Get these little pieces out of the way. I come in here, I burnish it. Then I can put this off and then I can just peel this. Mm, wasn't sticking enough right there. I'm going to flip it over, burnish the other side. I want to make sure that I've got those little dots sticking on everything. And if you can look in there, you can see it pulling apart. You can see those little dots. I've got glue. 
but this is the beauty of it. I don't have to worry about cutting those edges. It's ready to get adhered. Just as simple as that. And it's great because you can put a lot of little pieces down onto that artist tag. And no drying time, no waiting, no buckling. I would continue to burnish this a bit. If you have a press, run it through your press and you're going to make sure that it's really adhered well. If not, you could weight it with some books and voila. So how to get uh, papers onto paper without using uh, wet mediums, just dry adhesion. So look for some notes to go along with this, some links for where you might find these products. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Join the Creative Awakening community on Facebook, where you'll be able to post your art, connect with other creatives around the world, and ask questions. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks when posting your work on social media. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week.